Yo, yo, YouTube, what's going on, what's going on? Now, I know many of y'all been kind of anticipating the new uh, Babyliss, uh Low Pro FX's. Got them. Just got them in the mail. Here we got it. Here we go. Okay. So first, I want to open up the... Let me see. These are the trimmers. That's how they come in the package. I ordered them through... Um, Cali, uh, I think it's K A L I. Um, they sell a bunch of barber, uh, beauty, uh, barber supplies and beauty supplies and all that good stuff. Here we go. Straight out the box. Nice packaging. All right. Cool. Cool. Man. Okay, y'all can see that here. Man, fresh out the box. Here you go, right here, fresh out the box. Oh, I like, oh, okay. Oh, man. They don't seem to be zero gapped. Here, if you could take a look. So, I usually don't zero gap a lot of my clippers because I use uh, my trimmers to do so. But I think I'm going to zero gap these. Man, these feel good. They do kind of feel like mag the Magic Clip. They feel like the Magic Clip, but just a little bit. They got a nice little weight. Kind of just like the Magic Clip. Um, but this little thumb indention right here Man, it feels really nice. Ooh. Well, I thought these were going to be the edges. These were actually the clippers. Man. Let's see what's inside the box. Probably the standard. Yeah, it looks like pretty much the standard. The standard stuff. You got the charger. And it looks like it's the same Babyliss charger, which I love. So you can use the same charges for everything. Um... And we have the guard. So we have the half guard and the, I think that's a one. Yes, we have the half guard and the one that's in one package. And then all the other guards are in the other packages, the ones that you probably will, won't use as much. So that's interesting the way that they packaged it. Uh, and then the standard brush. And they have the actual, uh, where you can take the blade off if you want. The little tools, the little screwdriver and all that and all, and all. So that's great. That's great. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I typically don't turn them on without charging them. But for some reason, I'm going to do it. And I want to see how they sound. So let's hear it. Wow. Oh, shoot. Yeah, these things are powerful. Damn. Yeah, I've heard that they were powerful. I heard that they were powerful, but, you know, people give their own, you know, uh, opinion on uh, whether they, then these things are really all powerful. Damn. Oh, yeah. It seems like you need to cut through anything with these. They, they kind of feel, I feel the same power in these like I do the, uh, the Andes Masters. All right, the Andes Masters are powerful, too. They feel... Same thing, but they are, look at the grip. Look at the grip back here. Feel it in your hand. This is perfect. With your thumb, perfect. Man, I can't wait to use these. Got the little clicking. Man, this is, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm zero gapping these. I think I'm going to use these a lot. I'm just being honest. Wow. All right, you're going to see me make a, oh, look, I like the blade on it. It's a nice looking blade. Looks good. See how it cuts. Okay. Um, let's open the edges. Now, for me, for those of you who follow my channel or whatever, I have multiple edges. I have multiple edges. Um, and if it's something new and I like it, I, you know, I, I, I get into it. So here they are. 
Okay, you can see what they look like. The boxing is pretty much the same. And with these, because they're because they're new, I wanted to get them together. Uh, from the videos that I watch, because I watch a lot of y'all videos uh, out there, um, I think it has a DLC. DLC, blade. Let's see. Yeah, it's a 2.0 DLC blade. This is the same blade that I have with my custom FX trimmers. Uh, uh, I think I have the uh, the Los Cut It uh, FX trimmer. It's the same blade. And these are deep tooth blades. If you can take a look. Right? It's a deep tooth blade. All right? And the thing, for those of you who, who are not too familiar with the, the deep tooth blades, um, deep tooth blades are really good for long hair like people who have you know they're getting like uh you know they may have been woofing for a couple of months and you're trying to line them up that's what a deep tooth blade is good for the fine tooth blade like the 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 gold fx blade that's for uh, that's a, that's just a basically a fine tooth blade for people with real short hair and they cut precise now what i tend to do is i'll use my dlc blade and I'll use that to to edge to line people up with uh, who have you know uh, like an afro or just like a they have like you know a, a lot of hair or whatnot. And then I'll go through with my fine with my fine tooth blade, my gold FXs, and, and, and use that. So, but I want to uh, see. Well, let's see what's inside this before I crank them up. It's probably the same thing to be honest. Yep, exactly, exactly the same thing. I love that I'm gonna have multiple chargers. I'm gonna have multiple charges. So same thing, great deal. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. So here we go. Uh, some people, oh man, this feels good. Same thing, oh man. So some people, uh, videos I watch, they talk about changing this blade with the gold FX and I think I'm gonna do that because the DLC blade, it's a nice blade, it cuts in bulk. Like, so if you're trying to you know, cut somebody who has, who's been woofing and you want to uh, cut them a ball fade or anything like that, great, great blade to use. Somebody who has a long beard and, you wanna, and they want to shave it off, great blade to use. But I like the way that these feel. And I think I'm going to take this off. I'm going to try them first and I'll add this in the video. Uh, I'm going to try them first. But then I, based on what I've been seeing, I think I'm going to ultimately change this blade to the gold FX blade. And because that's a fine tooth blade, and these seem like I'm gonna, it seems like I'm gonna use them a lot. Let's see. Yeah, they're powerful. They feel just like the custom FX. Uh, I have uh, the Los Cut It, the black and red custom FX, and they feel pretty much the same. They feel good. So I'll use them before I change the blade. I'll use them, but I know that this blade is a, it's a deep tooth blade once again. And I think I want to put a fine tooth blade on here and um, just see how they work. So I have both trimmer, clipper, and I'm going to use these. I'll try to add some of my, my uh, haircut videos to see how they work. But man, I'm excited. Love the power. Oh, yeah. I love the power in both of them. Uh, the switches are on the side, so that's that's cool. And the thumb, the thumbprint is here. This is great, uh, especially for the clippers. Now with the edges, might be a little different because most of us who use our edges, we're using them this way. So, I mean, you still put your finger here, which is not too bad, but most of us, I thought, oh, and this just, man, I don't know. It's exciting to use. So, but um, yeah, so I'm excited about it, man. Here they are, the new Babulous Low Pro FX. FXX, and I originally, before I started watching a lot of videos, hearing a lot of the barbers brag about them, I was just going to purchase these for my traveling kit when I go somewhere to cut hair, but I think I'm going to use these primarily because of a lot of the uh, the reviews that I've heard about them, so that's what it's going to be. So, again, I'll, I'll cut some hair with them, add some of the, the, my haircuts in these videos, and just let you guys know what they, what you know, what I think, all right? Peace. So on here, I'm using my my low pros, and I have my lever uh, open, and I'm just going around, 
and I'm just starting the, the little fading down process. If you haven't tried fading this way, you know, it's a very unique way and it, it creates a very great blend. So I put my uh, one and a half guard on to kind of debulk a little bit. Then I put my one guard on to take out the initial line that I put there. Just kind of flicking at it, taking my time a little bit. Yeah. Then I go down to my half guard to take it down a little bit, a little bit even more. So this is the down, fading down effect and you can see the smooth transition right here. And then this is the part. This is why I say that these things fade so well. So I took the both guards off. You can see where it's, it's already faded. And uh, I opened them up and just started flicking at the line. And boom, the fade is there. All I have to do now is just basically debulk the, the area at the top. But other than that, just look at that. Look at that. It's already faded. So if you haven't tried this, try this method for ball fading, of course. And you can see here where I take the low pro um, trimmers and I'm kind of just, I'm basically balding out. And you can see how they're, they work real well. They're not getting clogged up at all. That's the DLC blade, the deep tooth blade, and it's good for balding out. You see that? So basically the fade is there. Uh, this video is fast forward. So you can see where I'm just starting to debulk. Right there, I'm just using my shavers to kind of ball out a little bit. And like I said, the initial fade part is, is done. Anything that you see that you might find interesting in here and you want to know about, just let me know. So here I have my one guard on and I'm just, I have it, my blade open up all the way and just kind of starting the the fade part up in here to blend in that dark area. Normally, I would have uh, taken off some at the top first, which would have kind of uh, taken the hair down at the top and it would have been a little bit easier to fade, but I didn't do it that way, I'm trying to work with this camera and everything. So here I got my one and a half guard. I'm just kind of going against the grain on the side a little bit to kind of get this thing to blend in like I want. And then I'll use my low pros to kind of do some detailing towards the end and you'll see where the thing just blends in great. I love detailing with these things and the fade looks, these things are, are awesome. They really are. If you haven't, you definitely need to consider. Just, just flicking at the line, making sure the fade looks Looks decent. Trying to piece it together. Look at that. Yeah, that blade is something else. That blade is something else. It seems like it's a game changer. That's what it seems like. So over here, you can see the little dark area. I'm, I'll put my one and a half guard on your head, kind of go against the grain a little bit, like I did on the other side, until it won't take anything else off. Brush one, fade one, and that's the much as it goes. I'll put my one on and do the same thing, and that's what I'm doing here. You have to, they're excellent. They're excellent for fading. Um, and I like the uh, the edges, All right? I like the edges. So, 
and uh, I just want to ch probably change the the blade on the edges. Belonging is the music. But you can see if it, it's all coming together. And if you get the time, when you are detailing, take your time when you're detailing, especially with these clippers. And man, you'll get a lot out of it. So that's basically what I'm doing here. Awesome clippers. Awesome, awesome, awesome. They were worth every penny. They were worth every penny. That I can, I can definitely say that. Can't say that for a lot of them all the time, but these were definitely, and I couldn't wait to get them. So a lot of great reviews on them. So Babylon did it with this. So I don't know, I know they're gonna continue to try to up their game and I'll do their latest technology, but this, I was very, very, very well pleased. You can see I took the one, opened it all the way up, and I kind of like took the hair down. You don't really like too much at the top. That's why I should have done it initially at the beginning, but I didn't, so. Forever there is we the go. Thing. It's shorter than you think. Trying to take out any little line that may be there. My lighting is off a little bit. This is my first cut video in a while. Hit it with the razor, a slight dry shave, not shave, but a dry razor real quick. His skin doesn't really get irritated, so I can do that. Calm it down a little bit. You see where I'm hitting them with the low pro trimmers. but it didn't really get to the point. So I had to go in and behind them and use my, my Andes because they didn't, they got the job done, but I wasn't too pleased with it. So went behind with that and did it. There it is. of our sphere the gift of life is never more or less 